Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my voice did something very strange there at the VR intro, but um, you know what I think is a lot of fun? The Mantis. So do you know what I think I'm gonna do? Another goddamn Mantis run on Mark B. As you can see, I've actually unlocked Mark C now, but I want to do one good run with Mark B before I move on to Mark C and show you guys what that's all about because it just confuses the fuck out of me. I also want to kind of play Layout C on my own just so I can figure out exactly what my main strategy should be. So if you guys remember from, I'm not sure what episode, what order these episodes are going to be in, to be honest, I'm kind of posting them at random because I'm recording them throughout the day and all over the place. But as you might remember from my last episode with this ship, things are a tiny bit goddamn insane, meaning our only way of actually invading is, oh, geez, fucking restart, I don't even, I don't even care if that's cheating, I just don't want to deal with that. A man, an unmanned drone first thing with this ship in a nebula with mind control is fucking bullshit. I'm going to attack this ship and then they only have a single laser. They cannot hurt us at all. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport on board. Hopefully they don't have an anti-personnel drone. I think they have an anti-per- they have an anti-personnel drone. Why is it always with the anti-personnel drone? Drone. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Fortunately they don't have a med bay so I can just eventually escape. Like let's run away. And just go here for a tiny bit. Oh, they have two mantis. Oh god, this place is fucking impossible. Okay, this is a crazy ass ship. Fortunately, I have a med bay. So I should be able to actually heal up. Um, if I had somebody to put on shields right now, I'd be in a good position. But I'm hoping I can find and kill that rock man eventually. Because you know the expression, rock man come together with your hands, save me. I could throw down a boarding drone at the same time, and I think I'm going to do that to just make this a bit easier on myself. Maybe it will, um, let's see where it lands. Shield room, okay, lovely. The rock man's in there. I'm finally fighting a mantis. I have a major advantage now. Their drone is almost dead. Our boarding drone actually got a kill. I'd rather it not get kills, in all honesty, but you can't, al you can't always get what you want in terms of kills. Mantis will be dying fairly shortly here. And Mr. Karis is going to need to get the fuck out of here. No. You know, you need to get the fuck out so much that I'm actually going to teleport you away. There we go. That's the way. And I get a heavy laser mark too. That is a really good early game pickup. Um, it's a three cost. It shoots two times and does two damage per shot. That is a ridiculously good early game pickup, especially for a ship that has no weapons. I would like to sell it, but I would also really, really like to use it. So I think I'm going to instead try to tech towards using it, as I should be pretty hard to kill in my first couple sectors here. Okay, let's return everybody to their positions, except for you. You get a new position inside this teleporter. Hit the dash key. And don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the dash key. And don't come back no more. I can't sing that low. Rather beautiful here. Well, fuck, that doesn't help me at all. You gotta help me out, man. Oh, God, another sun, and it's another one of these. Fortunately, this guy does not have mind control, and he just has two beams. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no way of damaging him, so all I gotta do is wait. Um, all, you, all I wanna do is have some fun. I might as well get this guy into the door systems to help fire not spread. And while I'm here, I'm gonna have a drink of coffee, because why not? Get all my 3DS game cases out of the way. You know, kind of organize my workspace a bit. Oh, get ready for the first solar flare. What a great place for a solar flare. I like that. I, I like how you behave, solar flares. I think we can get along. Let's actually open all doors for a bit just to get that place oxygenated a tiny bit quicker. Oxygen does spread out, like it actually has physics to it, kind of. Physics might be the wrong word, it has math behind it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Solar flare number two starting, um, hopefully this one doesn't damage us. Didn't damage us. Good, good, good. If, it, if a solar flare actually lands in a system room, it can just instantly do a lot of damage. Or one damage at the very least. So now I can jump to the next sector. I unfortunately have some places that don't have oxygen, but it doesn't matter. They're nowhere important. Um, I'm never going to surrender crew to slaver. Activate a defense drone. 
close all my doors, get these guys over here, and this should mean a free crew for me, which I am super psyched about. Super psyched, super psyched, super psyched, and just in time for breakfast. Oh, I was really hoping there would be somebody in here. Unfortunately, I didn't... There was one human and one rockman. If I had teleported into the human, I probably could have killed him before the rockman showed up. Which would have been, like, ultimate advantage of ultimate destiny. Whoa! Jesus, my defense drone got shot down! But it got up again. It's, you're never gonna keep my defense drone down, motherfucker. Um, my defense drone might go down here. Okay, so it's unfortunately a Mantis who has come back. I need to actually repair my drone now. This fight is going a bit worse than I expected because the chances of my drone getting shot down like that is actually fairly goddamn low. Weapons are down. That doesn't matter as much, though, as long as I can get my defense drone back up. There we go. Defense drone is up. I'll be able to shoot down missiles again. <laughs> Except they hit my drone control! Okay, you know what? Fuck drones, I'm gonna take damage here. I, I'm I'm fine with the damage. Get up, come on, I'm fine with the damage. Get up, come on, I'm fine with the damage. Cause I desperately need some crew who to open up the hay and let it flow into me. Okay, got Graffin. He's not gonna be very good for invading, but that is alright. He will be very good at repairs, which at this exact moment I could desperately use. And he can also be our pilot. Although, I would like to get him off the piloting system as soon as possible, because pilot is the only guy you'd never want to move. So, let's, um, repair the hell out of this. Get you to the med bay. You are still full health, I think, or almost full health. Drones are almost done. Get you there. Get her done. You there, and then I can move these guys here and save my positions. Okay, extra crew is the hard thing to come across in this ship, and it's what you need most desperately. Once you get four crew, especially if, like, three of them are mantises, you're pretty goddamn set. I'm gonna try to be a hero and attack the pirate. Just seems like the smart decision. Um, they have a missile launcher, so I'm gonna have to use a defense drone, but I'm likely to get def defense drone back because, you know, early game is Christmas time in the city, silver bells. Derry Dell. I, I don't know. Hey, doll, Derry Dell, Derry Dell, my darling. Up goes the feather wind, and something wind, and the feathers, darling. Apparently, I'm fucking Tom Bombadale. Can't speak to the victims, and I don't get a drone part, so that kind of sucks. To be honest, I don't remember um, any of the Tom Bombadale. I probably just made up gibberish there, but to be fair, Tom Bombadale is entirely made up gibberish, so. Let me, let me think. Poor old willow man, you tuck your roots away. Hey, Tom's in a hurry now. Evening must follow day. Tom's going home again. Water lilies waiting, or something like that. I don't know. Um, this is not my favorite ship to be fighting. I'm actually gonna throw a boarding drone down to speed up the process. I might be overusing my drone parts, but eventually I won't need to use them very often at all. And I could really use the distraction here. I, I could actually pilot evasions now. It's not very likely. Hey! That was super good. Oh, and my boarding drone is down, but that doesn't matter. I should probably go and try to take out weapons so I don't get hit again. And maybe I can actually take out this pilot before he fires a bomb at me. I do indeed, but I do take one damage anyways. Good thing it doesn't matter all that much. Get these guys into here, get you doing some repairing. So far... How, what am I thinking so far? I'm doing decently. I really could use extra scrap. Um, I could really use extra sh extra crew. I could really use like a good store to show up that sells a, a Mantis crewmate and possibly a mind control system. Mind control is really good on this ship. So let's start out with let's start out first things first. Distress beacon. Get some scrap. Boarding drone, I will launch a boarding drone, I get missiles. That was the giant spider event. Apparently boarding drone is what you need to actually complete it. Which I never knew until now because I'm not a very drone-oriented type of guy. I'm, I'm not a very Guy Fury type of guy. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Okay, so they're trying to get away. I don't like that at all. And they don't have a missile, they just have beams. I really want them to die super fast. 
So I'm actually willing to use a drone part, even though I said I shouldn't be using this many drone parts. And I'm also willing to teleport into their engines and try to get them taken down. There we go, they do have three crew members, so that was a drone part well spent. And unless they have, like, the best engines in the game, which I very much doubt in Sector 1, this should be good times all around. I would really actually... oh, whatever. I, I would like to not give experience to the boarding drone. It's kind of a waste. So right though, I get some extra fuel. They don't get away and increase the jump rate of the Rebel fleet, which is very important for me, because I still need extra scrap. And you might be wondering, why am I not spending this scrap on, like, improving my ship in any way, shape, or form? I need extra crew, too. And then I need extra dick. I, I don't actually need extra dick, I just kind of want to say extra dick. It, it's, a, it's a thing that sometimes I say, because um, at one point my girlfriend had a dream about her composing a song called Extra Dick, and kind of stuck with me. I'm going to aid the civilian ship here and stop my conversation about extra dick. Um, fortunately, Manta's teleported into, uh, not my pilot bay, which would have sucked a bit. They do not have a missile, and they have a beam and a laser. I am perfectly safe just to hang around and take my time. Yeah, I'm taking my time, I'm just moving on. These guys are leveling surprisingly in sync here. Not, not the horrible band, the good thing to be with your partner, I guess. So, is the NG the only guy left on this ship? Because that'd be good. Are you? Yeah, and I got a level up on one of my guys. Contact the civilian ship. I get an extra mantis. Wait. What happened? It said extra mantis, didn't it? Did I have to click it? And I didn't click it? This is the second time this shit's happened to me. Interesting. Okay, well, I will move on and, um... Head to the store. Like I said, I do want extra crew and they're likely to have it for me. And they do. They have Philip here. And also... Hmm. You know, I'm gonna just go ahead and max out my crew right away. Let's get them both in here. The human might not be the best thing. I might actually want to put him in engines in order to get some dodge chance. But now I have a crew of four and the teleporter to deal with it. I should also go ahead and spend the rest of my money probably on extra repairs and move on. I can do two jumps before the exit. So I actually timed this out pretty well. There are only two ships within the range. They seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has markings of a space pirate. I will aid the civilian and wait for me to be invaded because this is going to be hilarious. Yep. Good luck with that, dude. And then let's get you in here. So if I had mind control now, I could probably get some extra experience just killing some of the ship systems. I'm not sure if I can do that now. No, that, there we go. Can get some experience at least. Get you two in here. Take down the teleporter. Please do it before they die. Down. Ah, so close. Civilian ship escaped. I can return these guys to their place just with the R and get healed up. Hey, you don't need healing. What do you think you're doing? You don't belong in the med bay. That place is for mantises. Second-rate human slave. Yeah, I don't have time for two more jumps, so might as well jump straight to the exit now. I will... S I'm gonna get extra drone parts and I could really use the scrap. This is gonna seem stupid. I'm gonna sell six drone parts. I think at this, mo at this point, since I have all those people, the scrap is more important. I'm not going to go to a Zoltan controlled sector because I am afraid of Zoltan shields for the present. I won't be one that I get heavy laser. But let's go. Let's um let's call it. Let's move. Let's roll out. Battlebots roll out. I I think it's Battlebots that roll out. I'm not entirely sure. I will hail them trade one drone part for six fuel and um, politely decline. That's actually a really good deal, but I just got rid of a bunch of drone parts, so can't really do it. Boarding drone, giant spiders are apparently just fucking infesting this galaxy, so, you know, that's a thing. And it is time for me to fuck your mom. Excuse my language. 
I had better teleport into the weapon system. I'm, I'm gonna focus on like several systems at once here. Let's go into drone control as well. Because you know, drone control to Major Tom or something like that. Might as well try to take out some of their systems while I'm here. Can't help but notice that I am winning in the most hardcore of fashions. There we go, one of their drones down. Two of their drones down. Ain't no drones for the wicked, as I've heard. Turn everybody to the ship. Things are now going really well that I have a full crew. Once you get a full crew in this ship, it becomes really good until the late game. But if you don't have a full crew, it's kind of iffy, to say the least. So what I can do now is actually upgrade my weapons twice, and I can actually power up my weapons as long as I don't need a drone. I don't need the power yet. Power overwhelming. So I'm going to want to jump through that nebula if possible, and I think it will be very possible. So I will be charting my course, teleporter beam directly onto the station. Well, I can now actually fight this ship, and it only has a laser, so I'm going to attack it. It has... Yeah, laser and a beam. It has no chance of actually getting through to us. Let's try to focus down their shields with a heavy laser mark too. Lovely, shields are down. I should probably also turn on auto fire, you know, for convenience sake. Hit the shields one more time. I wish I could focus the two shots on two different rooms. Unfortunately, it makes more... It, Context-wise, it makes more sense for it to function how it's functioning. So I'm aiming at the engines now, because if I hit the engines once, it guarantees they'll die, pretty much. Unless they have level 3 engines. In which case, not so much. God damn! I mean, if I hit the engine with the first bullet... Let me correct myself. If I had gotten the respirators, I could probably invade. And if I had high-level teleporters. But I have not, so... Yeah. Still fairly easy sight. I did not even see what type of stash they were... Guarding? Was it a... Oh, yeah, it was a... Ooh. This is... Sun. Well, you know, I'm not too concerned with... Might as well be jumping in the sun. Might as well be jumping in the sun. So I'm not gonna go on a huge detour to avoid it. It is a... Kind of scary... Um, automated ship. I guess you get into the engines... Hell, you even get into the shields and you get into the weapons. I'll return you eventually. Fortunately, that missed. Maybe I could get one. Yeah! That was highly unlikely, but really awesome. Okay, everybody go back to your positions. We don't need you there anymore. Wow, that was incredibly lucky. My chances of dodging all that were pretty goddamn low. That is dead. Um, I think my FTL actually will start charging faster now. It destroyed my door system. Really? Really, game? Okay, let's get ready to cycle people in and out. Good need to repair my door system, too, because, you know, door systems are kind of important. These two can go heal, and these two can repair the door system. Just for the sake of expedience, I can now jump away. Well, I want to wait to repair my door first. Come on. Hit enter, and then jump away. Into the nebula to save my soul. I want to get lost in your clouds of... What are nebulas generally? The nebulas are composed of any dust, right? Attack the automate... Or are they dust? Are they... What are they? They're, they're dust, I think. I don't know. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. They just have a laser and a drone. I think that means it is impossible for them to actually get through to us. I am so glad I picked up this heavy laser now. I would have been losing so much scrap in these last couple sectors. He almost just blew up his own um, drone. Maybe that's not possible. Just keep on shooting, man. I guess this guy will be like our future weapons guy. Just in case. I might as well man the weapons up. Make sure they fire a bit faster, hit the shield. Oh, double miss. God damn it. I could throw down a boarding drone. No, no, I can't throw down a boarding drone. I could throw down a boarding drone. No, never mind, don't need to. Oh, I didn't take out their shields, so I took... Why was I aiming at their weapons? Of all the stupid goddamn mistakes. Oh, that is awful. I, I apologize ahead of time. Might as well shoot at their engines now. Apparently it doesn't matter quite so much because once I started hitting, it was impossible for me to miss. That is almost dead. Might as well fire on the drone control. 
I heard that that thing goes to Major Tom. Is it ground controlled Major Tom? Is that even the song? Is that a song to wear, pan wear pants to? Most songs are songs to wear pants to, but they're also songs to be pants list to. You always gotta understand that about people. They don't have to wear their pants. Got an anti personnel drone. I am fairly happy about that if only because I can sell it for a decent amount of cash. Let's see what I got. Nothing. I guess I should have expected that. You can get events that lead you to fights at empty beacons. Really? <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, he's going to hack something. Let's wait and see what it is. It is my med bay. That is perfectly fine with me. I'm just going to depower this. I can't depower the med bay? I am going to depower a level of shields, and I'm going to power up a defense drone. Actually, I'm going to depower my engines, I think. Nope. Can I power this down? Yeah, I can. Okay. So I'm going to power up my engines. I will put you back in the engines. Might as well just increase his skills while I have the opportunity, right? Right, guys? Something I might as well do. Heavy laser can focus on the shield system first because, you know. And then directly on the pilot because they are trying to get away and I cannot have that happening. And actually, I'm going to get you up in the weapons. Make that charge time a wee bit shorter. Anything's helpful when the enemy FTL is trying to escape? Oh, thank God I took it out. Okay, lovely. Uh, you know, maybe next I'll fire on... No, I should fire on engines. I considered firing on weapons because they could get a lucky shot off and actually get through our shield or hit our defense drone. But I'd rather make sure they cannot get away. Their hacking system doesn't matter at all because they suck at using it. That was close. I have seen mis missiles, m missiles, missiles slip by occasionally, so I know it can happen. I get a small bomb, which is a good thing. Put you back in here and um, jump away. Yeah, I'll jump away. I want to head up to that distress beacon, but if possible, I also want to go to there. So let's see how fast I can get up to that definite encounter. I'll aid the civilian ship. It is an automated ship. It has a laser and a beam. It means it cannot get to us. Let's go ahead and man the weapons since it's not trying to get away, and might as well just fire on shields. You know, since it's completely impossible for them to actually... I, I could be leveling up my mantises. I do. I am aware of that. I do aware of that, you know? Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably a good idea to have them there, even if I don't care about leveling up and just want to have slightly better defense. Cut him. <laughs> That's the problem with having only one weapon, guys. I could try to depower things and get a boarding drone up as well. That would allow me to actually um, damage at least one or two of their systems. Shields are down. I'm going to keep firing on the shields. Just for the ex simple experience of having a way of keeping the shields down, making sure they don't come up in the future. It's what I'm trying to get at, but doing a very bad job at. I only need to hit two more times, so it's... Uh, might as well go for the engines. I was gonna say there's better places I can fire, but there really isn't. This is the highest chance of me hitting twice in a row. Lovely. Get these guys all back to their positions, contact the civilian ship, got lots of scrap. Again, if I did not get that weapon, if I did not have the um, heavy laser, I would be so screwed. This sector, I would have gotten nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. So unfortunately I can't make it to that ship that is definitely hanging out there. I can, on the other hand, trade four missile for a bunch of fuel, which I was just looking at my... I was actually about to mention that I'm a bit low on fuel right now. So that is a very, very happy coincidence. I'm going to hail them and trade to... <laughs> you want to trade back? No, thank you. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it's actually a really good deal again, but I just, that that is just hilarious. I think I hear somebody at the door, so I'm going to pause for a second. Um, sorry, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, I had to give my mother a firm talking to there. She's visiting for a tiny bit, so that was her locking herself out of the house. Um, I'm definitely going to attack the pirate because that is the moral thing to do, and I always do what's moral in games. That's not true at all. Either way, time to teleport in and to <laughs> kill the entire crew. Clearly, I am a paragon of morality. Let's get in here. This should not take me long, especially if um, the crew consists of an NG and a human. And these two should be able to get some spare experience just by killing systems. I might as well have them take out shields a bit here. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can actually take out some weapons. I really don't like how much that laser hit me. 
It's all right though. And everybody's dead. Lovely. Return everybody to their positions and, you know, repair this. These guys need to heal, those need to be repaired. I've got things to do everywhere. I've got things to do, places to see, people, um, places, places to do, things to see, people to do, people to R, I don't know, R, di R dash people. Probably a horribly depressing Reddit if I had to guess. I, I don't know what would be there, but just R dash people sounds really depressing. Sounds like it would be something I do do not want to see. So abandoned sector or uncharted nebula? Abandoned su sectors are sectors. Sectors are scary because that is where the goddamn what's it called hang out. The guys who the anaerobic beings who suck oxygen. So as an invader, probably not the best thing. So nebula time. Other good thing about nebula is they don't slow down quite as much as jumping through nebula areas of regular sectors, but I think it does indeed. Slow way, hey, Justin. How's it going, man? You know, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and assign Justin to the weapons. I think I'm gonna keep my human here for now. I'm pretty sure slugs just have their psychic ability and no other ability, which is very useful. I gotta admit. Oh, he's good at weapons. Weapons already. Nice. Fifteen percent faster charge when manning weapons is great. So I got got lucky there. Um, you are good at fighting. You are good at fighting. Everybody's good at fighting. So things are going well so far. I don't have oxygen, which I probably should be like powering up at this point. But instead, let's just jump the fuck out of here. There we go. Get it done that way. There is a store which I definitely want to visit, but I want to also visit some more places first. So I'm going to go like down, down there, and then to the store. Make sure I have as much scrap as possible whenever I visit the store. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula and stay uh, ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage. Let's um prepare to chase them. Oh, fuck! I think I can still do it. That really sucks, though. Um, there will be a next time open fire. Let's teleport all my guys directly into their weapons room. Fortunately, this guy, this NG, took immediately a metric fuck ton of damage, which is ideal. And this should be one of the fastest fights in history. I might have to activate a defense drone. No, oh, no, don't even need to. And I got a laser charger. Charge laser. Charge la charge large. Max charges charge shots four. Normal damage one. Is there something else special about that? The reason it costs so much? Maybe because it can fire four times in a row? To be honest, that seems real good to me. But but I'll have to see exactly what it is. Because now I have um, six total... Six total shots. So I can sell the small bomb and just work entirely on lasers if I were to upgrade my weapon three more times. Which I think I may want to do. So let's jump over here now. Um, as you can see, the Rebel Fleet is catching up. It's catching up. It's there. You've got to rebel, you fleet. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about now. Hold it down, yeah. Okay, so let's sell the anti-personnel drone. Um, I would like to sell Mattis Pheromones, maybe, but let's see what they actually have in the store. Beam drone, beam drone mark two. Combat drone that repeatedly attacks with a larger beam weapon. So, I would assume that does two damage instead of one. That's kind of interesting. I could use a, maybe a combat drone for the future. Instead of the boarding drone, since I already have a full suite of boarders. Let's definitely do that. Let's also fix up everything. Let's sell our boarding drone. I know this seems ridiculous. Let's put in Beam Drone Mark II. Yeah. I, I like I like that idea. I'm gonna need a lot of power in order to actually pull it out, but you know, getting a lot of power is an objective I have anyways, so might as well be walking on the sun. So don't delay, act now. I've heard supplies are running. Arm the weapons! They find me repugnant. I find that offensive. Okay, med bay is offline. Shields are online fully, and yeah, that's all I really need. Jump into their fucking med bay. And this should be an incredibly fast fight. I got two full volleys off on that rock man before anything happened. 
Um, my engines are not powered up, so I have no chance of dodging. They do have a med bay. Let's actually get into their weapons and try to disable a bit of them. I'm, I'm taking a bit of damage here, and I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the damn edge. There we go. Getting some level up, too, while he heals. Let's go ahead and destroy this shield as well. He will hopefully actually manage to retreat. Okay, he actually went into the far corner position, which means he's going to die. Oh, he didn't die. That is really good. I can use this to my advantage and take out, like, every system. Let's go there and there. He will eventually be back, and then I can actually take him out as he walks through. So this, this is just for me... Like, the reason I'm attacking the systems is just so I can... So I can get experience. No other reason. For no particular reasons. Let's go attack the med bay, because why not? Might as well also attack the O2, since he's so focused on the shields right now. And then I'll have to kill him really quickly and teleport him back quite soon after that. Because I don't want to be in an O2 deprived ship. Ow, good time. 31 scrap, tons of experience is actually the main benefit to be gained there. And one of my guys is still full health, really? How oh, the fuck's name did that happen? Oh, that needs to be charged up. Excellent. Depower of shields, power up my engines. You are fully healed. You get in here, Chris. Chris R. As I want, I'm gonna nickname you Chris R. Your name isn't Chris, it's Karis, but I, I, I remember Chris R fondly. He was like the best part of, of the room. The best part of a room, he was fat. Sorry, best part of a room. Get it, get it. Um, so they have a hacking system. That is slightly concerning. I'm gonna fully power up everything that I think I need here. Let's go heavy laser mark two. They only have one level of shields. Oh no, my O2, okay. I'm actually pretty happy with that outcome. Um, they really can't damage me much. So let's go here. And try to take out some of their weapons as quickly as possible. And actually, let's um, go and take out some of their shields. Okay, so they've decided to focus on shields instead, and I can maybe take out some of their weapons. And I might as well fire, just so I can give Mr. Slugman some more experience. Lovely! Everybody's dead! Which is not something I should normally say lovely to. It makes me feel like such a bad person whenever I'm playing this game. I'm like, lovely! I've killed everyone! Their moms, children, women, I don't actually do that part because you really never have the option to kill the women and children except for when you have the option to steal from civilians, which you shouldn't do because it always turns out badly. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it's always turned out badly for me. I realize I could be massively upgrading my ship right now with 200 scrap, but I really want to see if I can get a fourth mantis sooner or later. Okay, so I'm in an ion storm. Um, they have a flat cannon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport here and get two of them into here right away. Um, I think the best I can do is actually what I've done. Flat cannon is definitely going to manage to fire, which I don't like at all, because that beam's going to tear me up real bad. I, I can't pilot anyways. Okay, they're all dead. So we need to take out the O2, return everybody to their base. Pretty safe in this nebula, so might as well heal up as well. And turn on my my med bay. Awesome. You can return to your position. I'm just having a drink of coffee here, that's why I'm taking a small pause. And let's power up the engines and jump away. Yeah, I'll jump away. Hey. Hmm. I might be able to go like here, here, or here, here. I'm not sure if I could get three jumps done though. Here, here, here? Nope. Hmm. That's unfortunate. So let's go for the lower two. I have no particular reason to try for this. I just think that it might be the better option. Pirates with a shield, with a hardened shield. Fortunately, I'm not, I don't think they should very easily be able to get through my, um, my shields. I do have two extra power here. Um, 
I could actually turn on the beam drone. That would probably cut through their shield a lot faster than a heavy laser. One, two, and... Hmm. No, I don't have the third power. I should really be upgrading my reactor. Apparently. Please miss. As long as something's miss, I, I should be good here. Ow, that hurt, and it didn't miss. Why have you done this to me? Okay, they are entirely down. Let's actually focus down some of their weapons and possibly also their shields. Fortunately, they always seem to focus on people who are in their shield room, so I might be able to actually take out some bars of weapon here. There we go, things are going fairly well. Unfortunately, my guy in the shield room is stunned. Weapons are going down, and I get healing burst. Lovely. Well, that, I'm not going to say lovely. That didn't go very well. Let's let's be honest here. If things are down. I took a bunch of damage. I have, like, downed engines and sensors and all that jazz. You guys can repair this just since there's four of you. Should be pretty damn fast. And I should also really upgrade my everything. All the birds up in the trees have different upgrades to sing. And it's better if I upgrade my ship and give myself more power. So... I need 75 more, huh? In order to get that working. I have the um, small bomb here. So I can use that in the future. I also have enough power to use a beam drone at the same time as my heavy laser or as the charge laser that could be an idea either way I, I have more options now and that is happy times long ass time and let's jump over to here and then the exit and you know I actually did kind of efficiently use this I might have wasted one jump somewhere and I definitely had what are you hacking my med bay I'm good with that can actually power this down, and I will indeed do that thing that I was talking about and power up my beam drone mark too. I'll see this thing in action. Okay, so it can't cut through a single level of shields. Maybe it has a longer beam then? Heavy laser can wait for it to move a bit and can focus down the weapons. There we go. Maybe it's, yeah, it just seems to be a longer beam. Oh, is that a mark four? Oh, that is Goddamn brutal. Okay, that's down at least. I should really try to take down these shields. Holy fuck, that is not fun. Now, unfortunately, that took down the shields. Weapons are still up, but I would much rather take out... Well, actually, now at this point, the beam drone's going to take out everything. Let's be honest here. Let's return everybody to their positions. <laughs> Apparently these guys just need to do a little dance. Make a little love, get down tonight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Perfect. Well, again, not perfect, but decent. And jump to the exit. I, I really wish I could visit that store. I have some stuff to sell, but now is not the time. And let us jump to sector four. Zoltan controlled it is. I, I now have the ability to get by Zoltan shields at least. So, always an advantage there. I will definitely jump through all three sectors of Nebula. I know I repeat myself a lot, but it bears repeating now. Fell in love with a girl. Okay, so this is actually a bit scary. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a defense drone and then think. I, I can use a bomb. Yeah. I can actually do this fight. This fight is possible. I, it's going to take a little while and I have to charge this laser over and over again. And hopefully land a bomb on their shields. But let's get a full charge. Shield. Two damage on the shield. And let's try also a full set of these. Oh, that, that was fucking beautiful. I may just be able to use my charge laser now. Let's wait for it to charge four times. Things are going well so far. I'm liking this charge charge L. Charge laser. Is that what it stands for? I don't know. I'm liking it, though. 
There we go, that is entirely down. This is not trying to jump away. So, un auto fire this. Actually, I might as well start firing on their weapons, con or on their, sh on their engines constantly now, since I don't really have to worry about trying to get by a shield. It takes the same amount of time to get a shot, no matter which shot you're looking for. And this will help level up my weapons guy too, to level two. Awesome. That worked very well. I wasn't expecting level three shields this soon, to be honest, so th that was that came as a bit of a shock to me, that whole encounter. Not fun. You nervously glance out the windows, the only thing you see is more clouds. Okay, distress signal. Oh, you're really gonna make me jump up here? Into an asteroid field? Um, let's... Interfere and save the Mantis ship? They have a mind control unit. That's not ideal. But I can just wait for this thing to charge up and then take out their Zoltan shields and kill everybody? Fairly easily? So, in all honesty, what they have doesn't don't matter. Unfortunately, they actually did manage to take out our shield. Um, you have to get back to our engine system and also... You know what? Try taking out some of their piloting, since I have all these charges anyways, and then you can just auto-fire in order to, um... Oops, not two. Yeah, two, actually. Just auto-fire... In order to keep your... In, in order to keep you leveling. I got a bit distracted there. And you also got a bit damaged. This is gonna be a super easy fight now that everything's together. They are dead. Unfortunately, the Mantis ship really gave me nothing. I think that's just like, choose which ship you want to fight here. And since I'm in a dangerous location, in quotation marks, I have to wait for my cooldown. Disappointing. Everybody took damage because Zoltans explode. Or as I like to say, they explode things. So let's go ahead and power up the medbay. I guess I have tons of extra power right now. And also... Oh, I, I can't upgrade my ship because I'm in danger. Got these guys down here, you up here. Always make sure you're fully healed up by the time you go to the next sector with this ship because it is not worth, um, it's not worth your trouble. Also, if you can pick up the recovery teleport, restorative teleport, goddamn awesome pickup. Where are these intruders? Okay, so one of them is heading to the engines. You, t you head here, you two head here, and this should be a really fun invasion to watch. Wait, okay, that's my guy. I'm just wondering. You are now max level, congratulations, congratulations. You two can also heal, and we are done. We are done, yes we are done, I hate to tell you boy, but we are done, yes we're so done. I really need to heal this NG that I have right here. Maybe I'll cut off his goddamn ear. I'm not sure why I made that threat. To be honest, it just kind of rhymed and it was in my head. You know, because be cutting off people's ears is something that is commonly in my head. Pirate markings. These are sad times when even Zoltan space is beset with pirates. Okay, lovely. I am definitely willing to kill the fuck out of you. Um, and I'm going to be doing that in the weapons and shields at the same time. Oh, oh, super easy ship to kill. They do have a med bay, but they, their med bay is gonna fill up pretty damn quick. So, there's gonna be some, why, how'd they manage, oh, flat cannon. Hmm, not sure entirely what to do about that, other than maybe fire like fuck on weapons. Hey, weapons are down a bit. I wish they would go down a bit more before the flat cannon fucking fired. Ooh, that really hurts. At least I got a lot of piloted evasions there. The flat cannon is down, laser is up now. Shields are moving slightly down. Again, I'm just taking these out for the fun of it. For the hail of it. Oh, I should soon be able to um shoot fairly well. You know, maybe I'll shoot at the med bay. There we go, medbay's entirely down. That means this guy is very, very dead. Excellent. Recall my units and heal up. 
I love this ship. Like, it took me a while to get used to the idea for the ship, and you really do have a bit of a rough start with, like, not enough crew and high shields. I guess the start is actually pretty easy, too. I just love this ship. This is probably my favorite Laoto ship so far in the game. I haven't won with it yet. I've won with plenty of other ships, but it still is probably my favorite. So let's head, like, up here and then jump to the store, or maybe even here and here and here and head to the store. I'll jump all around, then I'll head to the store. Pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. Um, despite the precautions, pirates have begun to harass local Zoltan settlements across this sector. Okay, fair enough. Um, they don't have a med bay, and they have a single rockman in the weapons, so this is going to be pretty devastating for them. Right here. Oh, look at how dead they are. Amazingly dead. Are all these guys like full level now? A lot of them are. They do have a fair amount of weapons. I probably should have actually. I should be. I should be keeping more track of what weapons they have when I enter. I'm starting to get a bit too focused on the combat and the invasion. Remember, I can still use defense drones, and I haven't even repaired. Like, I don't even know when my drone control went down a level. So, Beam Drone Mark II. Not quite as good as I expected it to be, in all honesty. In all honesty. Honesty. So let's jump. Oh, Nest Tea. In all. Oh, Nest Tea. What a gross drink, in my opinion. In Canada, it's too sweet, and I'm not sure about in the United States, because uh, your iced tea there is unsweetened, but I'm not sure about Nest Tea. Is that a different thing? Like, you don't consider it iced tea? Um, explore the asteroid field. Yes. Yeah, well, it's worth it. Okay. And I think it is probably store time. I hate to do it, but I definitely need fuel, and I don't think I can actually hang around for too much longer. Automated reloader is very, very good. I'm going to be spending quite a bit on repairs, but not full repairs, because you can you can often just pick up some repair. Fair amount of fuel, I will get the automated reloader. What do you have on page two? Another mantis. So. Mantises do 1.5 times base damage. Here, let me let me show you this. Mantises do 1.5 times damage. People who are leveled up do 20% more more damage. So having a mantis is better than having a human that does 120% damage. No matter what. So I just thought I'd show you those stats to make sure you know what I'm thinking here. And got my fourth mantis, got another crew member. Um I should is there anything else I want to buy? Fire suppression laser? Not really. Um, by the end of this sector, I would really like to have my next level of shields, if possible. And maybe a slightly improved... This ship is a bit of a rough time. Well, let's just go ahead and call a spade a spade here. Let's actually activate a beam drone. The beam drone will... Yeah will just instantly go down because I will lose my drone control. And now I have four shots that are charged up. Let's see what I can do. Their Zoltan shield is entirely down. Let's fucking invade the hell out of them. Hmm. But where to invade the hell out of them? They only have one mantis. Let's go right to here. I should win this fight, even if it might be a bit of a rough time. Charge laser is still up. I don't actually want to auto-fire it because it's a bit too rough for me. So if I use this beam drone, will it actually cost me a drone part? No. Good to know. Um, one of my guys is low health, but he killed his opponent. I get breach missiles. That was actually rather close, and I did took a lot more damage there than I was expecting. But I, I said I wasn't expecting it, but I was kind of expecting for things to get quite a bit harder here. Let's put some people in the med bay. They, they had a large crew as well, which I didn't like. That flat cannon, just pain in the dick. Get you out, get you in. Shake it all about. I also like to upgrade my piling. So many things I want to spend money on and so little money to spend on them because I just bought that extra crew. Totally worth it. So I might be able to get two jumps done before I actually have to go to the exit. Let us see, though. Um, Zoltan ship, unfortunate mind control. I really don't want to kill my own crew. 
So I might have to let him take this out. Or maybe take the oxygen out of it. So he runs away. Oh, mind control's done. Okay. So close all doors. Shoot the fuck out of them. Well, I actually wait to shoot them because I can maybe can take down the mind control. Ooh, that really hurts. Okay, I'm fully charged. Zoltan shield, I just need you to be hit by one more asteroid. One more asteroid. Yes, okay. Perfect. Now let's let's um go ahead and teleport on board now that I have the opportunity. They also have a cloning bay. I'd really like to Oh, this This is so brutal. I guess you guys should probably head into weapons, since there's no point in you being here. Okay, there we go. So these two just die. I take out some of the weapons. Their weapons all switch around. Um, piloting systems get taken out. I, I'm in a much better situation now. I, I'm, I'm all good. Remember, they blow up, so this is actually a rough time. I'm gonna have to recall these guys. My oxygen is down, they can all head into the med bay except for you, you can head here. You have to repair this, you two repair this. I didn't return you to your original positions, which in on, in retrospect was rather stupid. O2 is almost back up. You stop firing for now. Um, you are our weapons guy, you are our shields guy or engine guy, yeah. You guys go back into there, you heal up, you get back to piloting. They're repairing their weapons very slowly, but very surely. Um, I'm gonna teleport into their... into their bay. Actually, I'm gonna teleport into their shield room so people don't end up separated. And so I can kill them as quickly as possible. Then you two go into here, take out their fucking clone bay. God damn this ship. Okay, that was a, t a tiny bit more stressful than I had expected, but you know what? Oops, no, do not take my crew back while they're still on board the ship. Unfortunately, this is recharging now, and I'm gonna... Oh, I could have just moved them around. Why am I such an idiot? Oh, well. At least their ship's not in the process of burning down or anything, so... No panic. No panic at all. None whatsoever. Just gotta wait for the countdown. The final countdown, you might even say. Let's pause, get these two in here, get these two in here to heal. Always make sure your whole crew is all healed up before you go to the next sector. Or at least partially healed up, I guess. Let's get them done. All four of you guys are healed. You guys also need to get some health back. So you are weapons, you are engines, you are this guy, and dash to save. Let's jump to the exit. Hmm, indeed, indubitably. Continue, aid the civilian ship, of course. Why would I not? So they have an ion cannon and a laser. Be honest, this is like one of the least intimidating ships I've ever seen. Maybe it has really powerful engines? I don't know. Either way, I, I can just like, I might as well not even charge it to be honest with you. There we go. That is done. I can just teleport into their, f to their um, shield room. And it should be an all around easy fight. There is one mantis there. Again, I'm just continuously firing because there's no reason not to. My shield's entirely down. Ooh, this is actually going slightly worse than I expected. You have to get out, contact the civilian ship. I get a flat gun mark too. Uh, uh. That is amazing. Does it? How, how much does it take to run? Equipment. Flat gun mark two. Three power. How much power can I have in my weapons? Can I have nine power in my weapons? One, two, three, no I can't. 
I can do that though. And that. And that. And that. All that stuff that I just did, I can do. Um, I should probably replenish my O2 before everybody dies. Might be a good idea. Things might get pretty dire pretty fast here. Okay. I uh, first I was so distracted by the flat cannon that I almost didn't do that. Can go back to the piloting bay. Okay, so what do I have in terms of equipment right now? I have breach missiles, which take three power. I have S bombs, which take one power. No, I might actually end up keeping the S bombs here in that case. Charge lasers take three power, and flak two. So now I can have both those activated at once, as well as an extra bar of shields. Okay, next next step is evasion. Let's head to the next sector. I will go to a rebel stronghold. Might be a fun place. Let's go to a rebel stronghold. I'm not even sure if I've done that on camera before. But anyways, this is where I'm going to call the episode for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.